you had a, a back and forth with Deion Sanders and Tony Romo. Now, Tony Romo is doing the Cowboys game against the Kansas City Chiefs, and he's remarking about Marcus Peters not wanting to tackle. This is what Romo said, and then we'll play what Dion said as a follow-up. He's really good out there at the corner off coverage, but in tackling? <laughs> not his thing. No, and he makes Deion Sanders look good at tackling sometimes. Okay. All right, just a little dig. Uh, you know, a little truth and every bit of kidding. And then Deion Sanders got word that Tony took a shot at him, and Deion went all in. I, I tried my best to take the high road. I don't know the address to the high road. So I got to come at you, man. Ten years as a starter, you're two and four in the playoffs. You ain't won nothing. I tried to bury the hatchet. Both of us work for CBS. I went and shook your hand and say, Tony, you're doing a great job this year. I thought that would be it. But nevertheless, you keep on shooting at me. Tony, what's going on, man? I got a gold jacket that I didn't buy. Dak says hi <laughs> and bye. Tony, leave me alone, man. I got a lot of ammunition, man. How many interceptions? How many interceptions? 19 in 2012? Come on, man. You threw to everybody but me. Tony, come on, man. You know you never won the big one. You know you never won the big one. So stop, man. Leave me alone. I tried to take the high road, but I don't know the address. Wow. I got a gold jacket I didn't buy. Dak says hi <laughs> and bye. Pretty good. Uh, it feels like there might be a little history there because he says that he's tried to take the high road. He doesn't have the address. But I, I don't know if this is just a one-off here with Romo poking fun at Dion's lack of tackling. He's not the first guy to do that, by the way. But Dion to return fire here, that was what was surprising because – that was a little deeper than what you thought if uh, you're having just a little bit of fun. Yeah, Fritzy. I had no idea there was a hatchet that needs to be buried. How far back does well, this I, go? I, I don't know. You know, Romo doesn't feel like says too, you know, it's anything in, uh, inflammatory. It's rare when he says something that has, you know, a real deep opinion to it. He's just having some fun. And he's accurate, by the way. And Marcus Peters, you know, doesn't want to tackle. And Dion didn't want to tackle either. Yeah, Paul. A couple things stand out. Dion didn't address the tackling line because he knows he's not going to go there. Can't defend that. But it's almost like, all right, you can come at me, but if you come at me, I'm coming back 10 times harder. It, it, it plays differently also the audio. But, but the, what else has Romo said? I mean, Dion went both barrels there. But he did it in a fun, entertaining no, way. It plays different no. with the audio. Oh, come on, Dan. You can't. He's having fun. He's like, all right, you come at me. I'm going to come back twice as hard because I have a show too. And – if you read that quote, because I said you never won the big one. You never did anything. You threw 19 interceptions. You threw it to everybody. I got ammo. Deion's a showman. He's like, you're going to put on jab me and put on a show. OK, I'll show you how to jab mm. someone and put on a show. It, it reads when you read that quote by Dan, it's like, oh, my gosh, he really doesn't like him. It plays a little more fun and jabby. In the I, I don't think so at all. Play, you know, two days, play the uh, Dion response. I don't think this is fun at all. I don't think he's trying to be funny. Why is everybody laughing? Well, then he, if it's his, not funny. his delivery is not to Romo. Well, you're going to open your mouth. No, but that's why I'm saying Dion was really serious about this. There's truth in what he's doing right there. Oh, of course. Yeah. And, everything, everything that he said is true. Yeah. But if Tony Romo is going to open himself up for that, then, yeah, that's what you get. But he didn't say that Dion wasn't a great player. He just said Dion didn't tackle. Dion is assassinating Tony Romo. <laughs> yeah, yeah there, there's a big difference here, guys. <laughs> it, this is this is different. Well, you, you guys are reading this way wrong. Well, there's clearly a history there because he said I tried to bury the hatchet. So yeah, that's what I didn't understand. I don't understand what the history yeah. is there between the two of them. So I don't know. Maybe he's if Dion's like Tony, you keep shooting. Stop talking about me. Maybe this isn't the first time that Tony Romo has. Spoken about Deion Sanders. Maybe this is the first time Deion Sanders has addressed Tony Romo speaking about him. Mm -hmm. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.